In this session, we are going to design, implement and simulate hub subtractor circuit using PSPI software. So, we know that this is the truth table of the hub subtractor. In case of hub subtractor, we require to have two input lines, let they be x and y and two output lines that is borrow and difference. So, 0 minus 0 is 0, 0 minus 1 means 1 1, 1 minus 0 is 1 and 1 minus 1 means 0. So, in this way we have made this one. So, 0 0, 1 1, 0 1 and 0 0 in this way. Okay. So, now for this I require to have the respective boolean functions for this borrow and difference. So, borrow will have the form that is x bar y you can easily find it is x bar y and difference is nothing but the zor gate of x and y. So, x zor y will be the expression for difference. So, to implement I require AND gate 7408, I require NOT gate 7404, I require zor gate 7486. So, these are the respective ICs I require to implement. Let us go for the circuit design in PSPICE. So, here we are having this x and y. So, x or y is the difference and here we are having x bar and y to get the borrow as the output. So, in this way we have designed the respective simulation output of this half subtractor circuit. We know that here we, are, we will be having 0 1 0 0 and here it is 0 1 1 0. So, we are getting the output like this that is 0 1 0 0 and then 0 1 1 0. So, in this way I have got this borrow at the respective difference. So, let us go for the practical demonstration of this hub subtractor circuit using PSPICE for your better understanding. So, this demonstration is for you now. Here we shall construct the circuit on the digital subtractor that is a hub subtractor. So, how to do it? Here we require x bar y to get implemented and x or y to get implemented. That means I require one zor get, one and get and one not get. So, let me do it for you. Control R for rotate. So, as it is a half subtractor, so here we will be going for only two inputs x and y. So, one AND gate I have brought, I require also one NOT gate to get my X bar Y. For the output I require two such parts. So, this is my X or Y. And this is my X bar Y. So, this is the way I have drawn. Creating more space here. So, Zord output will be our difference and borrow will be this one. So, this borrow and difference we are having. Now, we shall give the respective voltage level marker. So, my circuit is complete. Now, let me do the tracing, but before going for the simulation tracing, I shall have to set the parameters. So, for this one I am setting the parameter at first. 
so giving this one as 1 millisecond and 0 0.5 millisecond which you did earlier also the same thing same type of settings we did So in this way the circuit will be operating so we are having this 0 0 combination 0 1 1 0 1 1 and the same thing will get repeated i'm saving it accordingly this is my setup analysis coming to this this is my transient part so now here print step will be 0 0.5 for two inputs i shall be having four combinations so if you go for two millisecond the final time and print step is 0.5 millisecond then I can get all four combinations accordingly so this much I have done so setting parameters and everything we have completed let us go for the simulation of the circuit so I'm just clicking on this simulation so the simulation output will be obtained so it has been obtained so here we are having this X and Y and we are having this difference and borrow. I can delete them. I can bring them in my own sequence also. So I require this X should come at first, then Y should come at first, then borrow should come next and set difference will come next in this way. So in the sequence, I want to get this output. So I'm getting the same in the, in the respective uh, sequence. So in case of zero minus zero, I'm getting this zero zero. In case of 0 minus 1, I'm getting this 1 1. So that was according to the truth table. 1 minus 0 means 0 1 and 1 minus 1 means 0 0. So in this way, the respective output has been shown here and the circuit has been tested through this simulation. So if you are having any kind of doubts, if you require any further clarifications, please leave your comments in the comment block and we shall do the needful communications accordingly. And thanks for watching this video.